Hi everyone and welcome to part two of colouring a giant horror poster. Thanks to your votes on the community tab, today's character is going to be Freddy Krueger. A couple of you suggested that I try some clear gesso uh, to try and make the surface of the poster a little bit easier to colour and blend on. So that's what I'm doing now, I'm just putting a layer of gesso on the hat just to test it and see how it works. So with light umber, dark brown and espresso, we are going to try colouring the hat once the gesso is dry, obviously. And at first it did seem to be blending better and it felt better to lay down. But I did notice as time went on that there seemed to be marks appearing and there were some areas that I just couldn't colour. And I think it's either because the pencils just didn't want to play on the gesso or it was the marks, the brush marks of where I'd actually painted the gesso on and they weren't smooth enough. So this is the kind of result we were getting. So I decided to carry on without the gesso. Here's all the colours that I used for his skin in this part. So I started off with some dark purple to try and make the reds look a bit deeper. But in fact, it just ended up looking a bit too purple, to be honest. Uh, so I tried my best to go over it with the Crimson Lake. And basically, I was just putting in lots of areas of burn marks. Uh, I used the raspberry pencil mostly for this. And for the skin around the burns, I wanted to do something that was still quite raw looking. And so I used the henna and the nectar for that. And I just found that that gave him a really raw sort of muscle look to his face. It's definitely not a, a neutral skin tone, put it that way. Then I thought I'd add a little bit of red Posca just in the rawest places so that it did look a little bit gleaming, a little bit bloody. For the teeth, I used sand and golden rod just to give him a grim yellowed smile. And then the blue eyes that uh, Freddy Krueger's actor, Robert Englund, has. Um, and then I'm just drawing in all of the lines again. As we know, these pencils seem to be quite opaque over the top of the lines and it does help just to redefine them bit of white pen and then we're on to the jumper. So Tuscan Red and Scarlet Lake for the red bits and the green bits I had a little bit of trouble with. I was struggling to find the exact green that I wanted. His jumper is, it's quite a dirty looking green, it's not a bright green, it almost looks black in some pictures. So I was struggling for a little bit with the greens that I wanted to use which is why uh, you can see me going backwards and forwards with different greens trying to layer over the top which is pretty impossible on this surface. But I did end up with, I think it was olive green and kelp green. And I knew that by the end of this, I'd want to make it look quite dirty, quite scruffy. So I was going to be putting some brown and black marks all over. So that would probably hide the mistakes or the bits of green that maybe didn't blend so well together. And it wouldn't be so obvious to the eye. Now we're using sepia and dark brown and a light umber for his trousers. Quite hard to find what trousers and shoes Freddy Krueger wears. It's, there's not very many um, full length pictures. Uh, so I just did my best really looking at costumes online. And for the shoes, I decided to use a little bit of chestnut. I wanted to differentiate from the browns that we used on the trousers and I covered it in the brown and black so it wasn't so bright and red. Then for the laces, I coloured them black and used a sharp white pencil to redefine. Now for the sign, I wanted it to be green because it is in the movie and I also knew that it was wood. So I've tried to use the two greens, which were dark green and grass green, to uh, create a wood effect. Same on the pole with the browns, just using a dark brown and a lighter brown. I think the same ones off his trousers to make that wood effect. And then just a couple of random greens for this bit of grass and some warm greys for the stone. Now, I did exactly the same thing as I did on the Chucky, so a bit of 20% cool grey to define the bubble, and then the same green and red that we used on his jumper for the text. Now, I got it into my head that I wanted a white glow around the letters, and I think I ruined it, actually, so I used the white pencil, tried to redefine with the black pen, and the letters just look rubbish. <laughs> but, you know, you live and learn. So here he is, Freddy Krueger. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and let me know which character you'd like to see next. 